Oh, I gotta collect something. Where am I now? Oh good, I can actually speak through this text. That's good. So welcome to Mega Man Extreme <laughs> with an X. This place is familiar. Why am I here? I don't know, why are you here? I mean this is essentially a side story. But this game is kind of weird and the fact that it plays pretty much all the levels from X and some of them, well not all of them, but some of them from X and some of them from X2. And then basically, does this, oh, okay that, that could work too. <laughs> Whoops, did they start me right here. Um. So yeah, they, some of the levels are from X and X2, and then Extreme 2 does the exact same thing with 2 and 3. Only difference is with this one... Well, I think I think it's for both, actually. Um, in this one, when you do normal mode, you do four of the levels, and then Extreme, or Hard Mode, I think it's called, does the other four. Then Extreme Mode, sorry, is the one that does the all eight in a row. So I'm gonna work towards that. And this is actually going to be a playthrough of all the difficulties, so it's going to be a little bit weird. But hard mode does do different stages, so it's not going to be too weird. And extreme mode is just going to do them all for like a combined story, and then like an actual finale. So, we'll just see how that goes. Yeah, this game has like a weird autosave instead of a weird checkpoint feature going on. Vava! Why are you? It can't be, I crushed you! Die X. <laughs> he actually has health though, so uh, you do actually gotta fight him. Thankfully, he's stupidly easy. I'm, I'm gonna die. Okay, I didn't die. Good. <laughs> but yes, this is essentially Mega Man on the go. So, if you like Mega Man, this one is actually on the 3DS, and I think it might be on the Wii U, I don't know. Zero, you must tell me. Tell me what's going on. X, how we see terrible confusion all over the world. Someone broke into mother computer system of the mother base and I mean, uh, the hunter base and set the data to sabotage the world order. What? <laughs> what's doing such a thing? Well, I uh, wanted to disturb the peace we have tried hard to maintain. This is terrible. It seems that they are reproducing the fighting data of the past. X, your data is contained in the past data in the mother computer. What? And the one who bought you back from the data world is... Hi, I'm Midi. Midi is the greatest computer genius in the world. No one can match him. He'll work with us to solve this case. It's nice to meet you, X. Nice to meet you, too. Let's work together to restore peace. And if it was a later game in the series, Ox would be like, No, I'm pacifist. <laughs> X, so let me explain what we should do. In order to put the past data back, I need to tap my fingers on this desk right here. We need to fix data, blah, blah, blah. This is the core of the mother computer. The, okay. But the way you do the core is protected. Unless you clear the protection, you can't enter the core. The guardians of the protection is the boss data of the past. To break the protection, there is no other way but to go into the computer in this data form and crush them all. Zero, I'll do it. Okay, I'll let you handle this. I'll stay here and clean up all the... Was that spelled? Mavericks who are committing crimes and confusion. Don't forget that even though they are past data, they are still very strong. X, be careful. Alright, here we go. Good luck, X. Energy charge, setup complete, ready to transform. Start the installation. Now say right here? Yes. Okay, there are four bosses. And it should not be too hard. I just need to do one after the other. So we'll start with Joe Penguin.
Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention to that. It's kind of funny that you get to uh, do some of the past stages in like a weird like mini form. So essentially you are playing Mega Man X and parts of X2 on the go. It would be nice to actually see a Mega Man collection on the Game Boy Advance. But, uh, you know, Capcom, who, especially for their 20th anniversary of Resident Evil, decide to release a game that looks really, really bad. <laughs> Enter this capsule, X. Take this leg upgrade. The upgrade will enhance your mobility on climbing the wall. This upgrade will allow you to crush certain blocks. Your field of activities have now been expanded. Go destroy the evil, X. Who translated this? I mean... This is certainly better than Breath of Fire 2, in terms of translation anyway, but, um, man, like, seriously, Capcom hires some, like, not Englishy translators. <laughs> seriously. Auto save. Yeah, these stages are, oh, okay. The stages aren't, like, Okay, I was gonna say, can't I destroy those? Oh yeah, this also has, uh... Issues with graphics at times. Oh, it's the one from, uh, X2. That's actually kind of funny. Can I get out of it, please? There you go. Autosave. It's one from X2, which sort of makes it a little bit easier to get around, but, uh... Not really too needed. Ow. I still love that snowballs hurt. Made it. I still find it funny, uh... In X... Like, just in the original game and... What the heck? And this alone... He's taller than X, sprite-wise, and yet he's, like, naturally supposed to be shorter than X. I don't know, that's just me. I just think it's funny. Oh, come on. Yeah, this one added a double tap. Well, actually, I think all the X games have the double tap to dash. But this one kind of makes it a little bit more simpler to do it half the time. What the heck? Why am I not hitting you? There we go. Seriously? Why am I doing so little health? Host. One more hit! Yes! <laughs> there! Uh, I'm doing like no damage. This has just become another war of attrition. You get C! I didn't expect the past data could be destroyed so easily, huh? We could get in trouble if the computer protections are broken. We need to make a move quickly. Kick, kick, kick. Take it easy. Let's relax and see his actions from here. Gimo, you'll get hurt if you disvalue his power. Don't worry, I'll do it. I'll crush him for sure. Okay, you go then. Kick, kick, kick. Don't fail us. 
Alright, well that was one boss. I expected that to go a little bit quicker than that, but uh, yeah. Let's just go down the list because I get... Uh, yeah, that's his weakness, right? I think so. I'll just go down the list. I like how his shoes are just completely different color from the rest of his body. Whoa, I just climbed really fast up that. But yes, uh, when they say mobility has been enhanced, you do climb up ladders faster and all that. So it's kind of funny. It's like, imagine... The ironic thing is I don't even have the armor on because it doesn't show the individual armor pieces. It only shows it when you have them all. Anything down here? Yeah, I can break these. And get an energy sink. Where is the... I'm, I don't remember where the armor pieces are at in this game, so this might actually be a challenge for me. Aside from the fact that... Uh, Bosses are just stupidly going to be annoying because of how much hits they take. How? Down. Oh, great. This is going to be fun. Ow. Ow. No, no, no! Alright, let's do this again. Got you, you stupid thing. Through here. Oh, okay. Palette change. Ow. Crap. Too much crap on screen. Okay, good. Auto save, go. Is there something up here? <laughs> good thing, uh, the Game Boy Color screen's smaller. Because I wouldn't have been able to make that otherwise. Come on! That just happened. Where is the ow? Whatever, it's gonna keep going. Can't see. All right, made it. Especially after that, let's just be stupidly cheap. Unless he fixed it. We'll find out. Boop. Oh my god, they fixed it! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> they fixed it. Did that seriously do that much damage? Why did I jump into that? Alright, let's get a Storm Eagle. Should be an item this way. There always is. <laughs> Does the E tank though, which basically makes me confused. Still love that this says airport. And since I can't get up there, maybe I can get up there from this way. There it is. 
But does this trick work? Oh, good, it does. Go over here. That's just a life, I think, so it doesn't matter too much. But up here is where it matters. Come on. Whatever, I'll just go the other way. Okay. Jump. Jump, Mega Man. There you go. Enter this capsule, X. This head upgrade will give you the ability of the head crush and allow you to crush certain blocks. Don't hold back, crush them all. Alright. Impressive. Not really. <laughs> Let's continue on. This stage is already done with. The most animated sprite in these games are Metors. Ow. It's a waste of time! I'm always... I'm always thinking that there's something down there. But it's only in the SNES version. <laughs> Continuing forward. Straight to Storm Eagle. Thanks for letting me get like six shots off on you. <laughs> shot and you're done. There you go. Okay, and with that, next time on Maverick Hunter... I'm sorry. Mega Man Extreme! I keep thinking Maverick Hunter X. You got the Storm Tornado. Next time, we do the other two bosses, get the other two armor pieces, and go from there. So see you guys then.